So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a low poly, simple, you know, bumpy African hair like this. I just did, you know, just a portion on this side, but on your own, you can go and then, you know, add more bumps to it. And then, yeah, give it a nice look, give it a nice feel. All right, so let's begin then. Let me turn on my overlays. So I'm going to be doing it on this character. Okay, so it's, it's quite simple. Just make sure you're in object mode, you can click in the center of your character and then press shift a and then go to meta ball and then go to ball simple as that all right so it has already picked this color because i am the other meta ball color that i last worked with so you can come in here and just change your meta ball color to whatever you want okay so it's it. that's that's simply it so let's just continue um, so to scale it, it's the same thing, but I like to do this in um, edit mode just to be on the safer side. So you can scale it this way, or if you want, you can just do it in object mode. Either way is fine. You just have to keep in mind that if you want to apply it, you know, I'm going ahead of myself. Let's just continue. So um, what I like to do is just go into, you know, right view mode. I like to create it in large chunks, like big blocks of the hair. Then I add a little bumps on top. So this is what I mean. So let's say, so now just G to move it. Okay, so we'll bring it somewhere here. Let's go to front view. Anyway, I'm doing this by clicking the back tick on like going to the various views by clicking the back tick on uh, my number pad. Let me turn on my screen cap real quick. All right, so that's so let's let's just move on. So the back tick sign close to your number one, and you can move to various views. So now that I have this selected, okay, so I have this selected. Let's go to right view mode, Control D, then you can duplicate, and it creates this wobbly kind of thing, you know. Yeah, and then you can you can move it around. So let me go to front view mode. You can click the first one. Oh, just uh, let's click the first one here then from view mode then control D to duplicate and then you can move it S to scale control D to duplicate and then you can move it okay so something like that and then you are you know literally creating then constantly shifting from various views you know to make sure that you are getting an interesting shape now I'm assuming you probably already have the kind of shape you want to create so you already have maybe a reference drawn or something and you are simply moving the balls to match that reference okay so when you have let's say something like this let me just move this one so it goes to right view mode control D to duplicate G then I bring it somewhere around here I can scale it a bit cool so let's say you have something like this and then now you want to put in the small bumps okay same control d to duplicate s to scale then you can go to top view mode g and then bring it out a little bit s to scale g bring it out a little bit go to your right view mode you know i just have like kind of slight bump inside maybe let's bring it out a bit more you know, so just little, like little, little, and little like that, little, little like that, and then uh, you start having those little bumps inside, like I did for this character, like I did for this one. You know, you can add more bumps all the way here, you know, to make it a bit more interesting. Add some more bumps here to make it more interesting. Yeah, so that's that's basically how you go about um, creating. A hair like this i want to talk about how to make the meta ball smoother just in case i didn't explain it well so press shift a then come to the meta ball okay so you might have your meta ball have these you know having the sharp edges come down here to the object data properties then the resolution you can make it 0 0.1 and then it smooths it out simple as that 